doing the science bit now. The actual ECU that we're doing it here is the IW6LP1.09. Uh, it's connected up to a programming tool. There are the connections. The chip, if you're interested, um, is an ST10F280. You see that's reading its way through now. Um, usually we would do a simple clone on one of these. So it's to take the data out of the um, faulty unit and clone it into a working unit. Usually they'll have water damage and blown components, things like that. Cloning is absolutely fine if that's the case. In the other case of corrupted data, which is rare, or if the original EC was missing, we need to adapt it by pin number by reading the file of a donor unit with the same part number, virginizing the unit, and then installing it on the car and program it by pin. We can program it by pin by getting the body control module out of the original car. We can extract the pin number out of this for you. And then you can use, well, dealer tool for sure. We're gonna try later on to program a Virgin IAW6LP using um, Think Tool and Autel, and we're gonna see how we get on. But first, what we've got to do, we've got to let this finish reading its file, and then we're going to show you how we virginize it and reinstall it. That'll be uh, in a few minutes' time. Okay, so the file has now been read and verified, which means that it's read the same data twice, compared every single byte of information here, made sure it's the same twice so it's not a corrupted read. We're going to save this <clears throat> and then we're going to open up the software and show you virgin, us virginizing it. With the software running, we're going to choose which ECU we're working from, uh, working on. In this case, we're going to be working on a Peugeot Magneti Morelli IAW6LP virginizing program. We're going to find our file, one we've just read, which is this one, and we're going to virginize it. Once it's virginized, we're then going to save it. as a virgin file, and then we're going to write it back to the ECU. To write the file back to the ECU, all we're going to do is open the file that we've just created and then write it back to the ECU. And then it's going to verify again, and then we're going to have a go at fitting it. Um, to the people who know more about ECUs, yes, there is a checksum. There's a checksum on the flash. The software which we use should actually correct the checksum so using this type of tool is not going to be a problem if you don't know what a checksum is don't worry about it it's very complicated and that's a subject for a whole nother video another day so let's look right let's look, let's let that right back to the ecu we're going to work out the pin number that we need and then we're going to see if we can program it in the virgin file is now written back in and it's uh verified so we're gonna work out the pin code for the ECU now for the um, for the car rather not for the ECU we're gonna use one of many softwares we've got so we're gonna find the pin number and we can see the pin number for the car is B4UG we're gonna write that down we're gonna use that to program the Virgin ECU back to the car see what happens next Back in the workshop again. Here's the freshly virgined um, engine ECU. That's got to be put into the box where the ECU fits here. These three plugs have got to come off. This little screw's got to come out. So I'm going to crack on, take that out, get the virgin one on, see what happens. Right, so here's the hole where the ECU should be. And here's the virgin ECU. We've got to put the three plugs on here.
We've not putting all the brackets back on because we're just doing this as a test. We can uh, assemble it all correctly later. So that's a Virgin BSI uh, ECU. What happens now if we want to start it? We're going to find that the ignition is on, but we only crank. Let's get it programmed in and uh, first contender is going to be the Autel. Let's give this a try. Let's see if this will work. Right, so the Autel MS909 is hooked up. Um, we can see we've got some fault codes in the ECU. We're going to see what that is. Probably going to say something about immobilizer code not programmed, I guess. Let's see what it says. Uh, configuration fault, okay, probably because it's not coded. Uh, to program it in, we're going to head over to the BSI, um, BSI, and we're going to see what is possible with the Autel. Never tried this before. This is the first time I've tried this with the Autel. And here we go, and special functions, initialization learning. Um, so the only thing we have is forcing customer mode, program with the BSI interface and engine immobilizer code and keys. Uh, see if there's anything in there. Probably won't allow it because the BSI is programmed. Yep, it's uh, not gonna do it. I think it's gonna be a failure. The B4UG is the immobilizer code. Let's see if that accepts. Well, it's the correct code, so at least we pulled out the correct code for it. Um, it's only wanting to program keys, so we're going to come out of that. Um, so, configuration, maintenance, uh, switch off the ignition. Uh, ignition is off, maintenance limit. Not very much that we can do on configuration on one of these. Um, don't think we can really find anything else. Bit of a fail for the auto. So the next thing we're gonna try is launch-based systems. Uh, on hot functions, oil reset, steering angle sensor, uh, uh, options of control units. Um, no, there isn't going to be there isn't going to be any programming, unfortunately, for the Autel today. So, um, don't think we're going to have any other functions. Yep, there. there's no way in. Autel fail. So let's go on to the launch-based systems. We're going to try the Think tool now. Right. So we've got the launch-based diagnostics now. Which this is actually the Think tool, Think Max, also branded as a top-down max something and obviously the, um, the launch version the name escapes me we're going to not go into the actual car we're going to go into immobilizer functions and we're going to see if it's in there to start with Immobilizer stroke keys programming. We'll see what options we've got. Um, manually select. We know it's a 206 MUX. Could have done it auto, I suppose, but not a problem. Uh, programming keys, remote controls, programming and matching. Let's try programming and matching, see what the options are. Switch on the ignition, it already is. Uh, oh, we have engine ECU. So far, it's good. 
Turn on the ignition, it is. Enter the confidential code, B4UG. B4 U G programming complete. Do you wish to match? Do you wish to match with the BSI? Yes, please. We want to match it to the BSI. Hope we do. Matching is complete with the BSI. Well, it says it's done. Moment of truth time. Let's see what happens. All right, so economy mode is on. So we're gonna switch the ignition off and give it a few seconds. And let's see if the Think Tool has done it. Whoa, look at that. A big win for the Think Tool. Yeah, credit to that. So there you have it. The Autel wouldn't do it, but the Think Tool Max 100% programs in a Virgin engine control module. Uh, that's the interface that you uh, get with the Think Tool Max. I'll be doing a review of that tool later. It's popped up a couple of times on, on the videos. Um, now, what we're going to do is uh, check some other things out. So, we're going to switch it off. Next thing we're going to check for fault codes. If you need to replace an ECU on a vehicle and are looking for a way to have it programmed, simply visit ecuconnection.co.uk where you'll find hundreds of programming services and thousands of ECUs for sale on our ECU shop. Simply click on the services tab at the top of the page and then fill in your component details in the filters on the left hand side. Select from the results the ECU which you need to have programmed and from the drop down menu select the service that you require. For example today we are looking for a virginizing service on a Peugeot IAW 6LP ECU. When you're ready add it to the basket and pay by our secure payment system. Then all you have to do is send us your old component for programming. We operate a mail order service throughout the UK and Europe. Okay, so last thing to do is to read the fault codes, clear them out, uh, read the fault memory, configuration fault, hopefully this is going to clear, clear the fault memory, yes we will, roll pose out and put the mileage, uh, 6608. Four sixty six oh eight four. Switch the ignition off. Wait twelve seconds, not ten seconds, twelve seconds. Ignition back on. Fault memory complete. Read the fault code. Oh, configuration is still there. Let's see if we can do some configurations then. Configuration. Uh, management of engine cooling is not configured. Air compressor gearbox um, invalid value. How can we modify this? Modify it. Um, gearbox, um, short manual gearbox, cruise control, let's have a look, does it have cruise control? Uh, don't think it has cruise control, so we're going to say absent on the cruise control, ESP, uh, what we're going to do, we're actually going to plug the old one in and read it, but we're going to say it's... Uh, Absent of ESP, uh, clutch switch uh, present, um, and the configuration operations. Oh, don't know these. I'm going to get back to you. I'm going to do a bit of research on these and I'm going to set it up and then see how we get on. 
Right, I just realized I set the configurations up and I wasn't recording. So um, just gonna have to believe me that now we have configured it all. Um, we wanna modify with this, we uh, engine uh, speed cooling uh, without air con, cruise control, absent, etc., etc., etc. Um, do what we need to do and then we go configure and it thinks about it it succeeded to fill so that means it's done it as you can see the configurations are all in there now we'd normally take a little bit longer thinking about the configurations downloading them using the dealer tool reading them off the old ecu and then writing them in but i just wanted to show you the capacity of the think tool max um, it is able to do it it's very good it was able to program in a virginized ecu um, like I say, we'd normally clone these one-to-one -one, so you wouldn't have to worry about doing this, but if your ECU is missing or the data's been corrupted or we can't read the data, we can virginize these units. You can put them in with a standard, a fairly standard diagnostic tool, not the Autel, the Autel failed. Maybe some of the newer Autels may, might have it, but the MS909, the one I tried, didn't. Launch Space Diagnostics, Think Tool, Top Don, Launch, at this level of tool, the X431 Pros and stuff like that has probably got it as well. It done it perfectly. So now we can see, uh, if we go into the engine ECU, we now have uh, some magnetic Merle 6LP. And we're gonna read the fault codes. We now have no trouble codes, big success. Lovely jubbly.